Good peoples, what's going on with you? Welcome to another vlog. Yes, welcome back. Ciao. It's 9.20 in the morning. And why these children, who got my keys? These cheering up. They normally don't be up, but when I got ready to go to the Bucks, see how I'm you see how I'm working with one hand, girlfriend, thank you. When I got ready to go to the Bucks this morning, they was already up, child, talking about mom, we riding with you. And, uh-uh, you got the wrong keys. You, talking about they riding with me. And go camera. And uh, now they they help. I'm trying to and be. I'm trying to be in here and edit this doggone vlog that's going out tomorrow and whatnot. And uh, they, mom, can you can you can you move the car so we can play ball? Can you? It's never enough. It's never enough. There you go. Oh man, it's all right. <laughs> I'm just really trying to figure out why they up so early. Um, they never up this early. Never. Okay? Ooh, and child, between my house and the house across the street, it look like a uh, 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 car lot. The people across the street, I don't know why they got so many cars out there. And it's just the way they have them parked. I told uh, Sika, I say, why they got them cars parked over there like that? They can get a little more order. Anyways, however, child, it's too much. It's too much. I'm going in here to do my job. So I ain't finna be up in here editing all doggone day. I just knew they was gonna go to sleep when we got back home, but mm -mm, they still up. Still up. Child, what's wrong with them? Rebounding I, I, I wanted to add this because I want to know why my children don't never put on tennis shoes. They out here playing with their Crocs and whatnot. Uh, I don't know why they always play with the tennis shoes and stuff on. I mean, with their, with their Crocs and no tennis shoes. What's wrong with the people? Tell the people say it. Tell the people say it. So I'm finna switch to what's good, y'all. Oh, I know what's good. I'm finna go in the house because this right here, I cannot be a part of this. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, okay. So they're now changing their shoes. But look at Chris. Why is his mismatch? It's the dread. It's the what? I don't know what they talking about. What's it's. Do y'all see what the child doing? KD. Who? KD. Kevin Durant. I don't care who they are. Why the shoes got to be mismatched? I don't know what. You don't know what that is? I don't. I don't. It's alright. This generation right here. Something else, child. Anyway, I've been out here fooling around with them long enough. Time to go in and do some work. Ooh. Huh? It's working. I'll holla y'all. Good morning, good peoples. It is the next day, and um, me and Cameron, we headed out, child. Uh, it's 9-11. Hey, it's 9-11, child. See, y'all trying to kid me. Why are these shoes right here in the way so I can't get past? The little girl is trying to take me out on the slide. What's wrong with the child? Anyways... However, y'all, me and Cameron are headed out. Um, I think we're going to head to, um, well, first, we finna stop at the Bucks because anything else will be uncivilized. Yes, that part. Anyways, so we're going to go to the Bucks, and then I think we're going to go to uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, what else, y'all? Hobby Lobby and I think I need to go in Masha's. Yes. We're going to do that and everything, and let me see what shoes I want to put on. And then... Uh, I guess me and Cameron will get back with you. Cameron, tell the people hey. Hey. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Yeah, we'll get back with y'all in a little bit here. Look, look at, see? What do the signs say? They think I'm playing with them. They think I'm playing with them. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Hey. Look, girl. You, you see I almost died when you left me shoes down there? Mama, I love you. Well, if you love me, you would not keep them shoes down. Y'all think I'm playing about this sign up here, don't you? You think I'm playing? Hmm? I'm talking to you. I love you, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, because she know. Rise up so we can go. Come on, girl. She's control. What's wrong with her? Well, as y'all can see, I'm at the house. And, child, I've been here for a while. Um, 
who was that? Uh, Cindy, I'll I, I text you back in a minute, Gear. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm watching, matter of fact, we just put out a, a Real Housewives of YouTube vlog and I'm watching Cindy as hers came up first. So I'm watching her and I'm just sitting here chilling. I'm hungry as I'll get up. She was just making this sandwich in her vlog and child, I'm probably gonna end up, I told her, I said, I think I'm gonna make that tonight. I'm gonna end up making that. And um, I'm just sitting here chilling. I was trying to, um, I was trying to put some, um, like get my desk together. Cause I got just, I didn't get a whole bunch from uh, Hobby Lobby. Matter of fact, I didn't even vlog at Hobby Lobby. I was going to, but y'all, it was so doggone cold. And then I said, y'all, it's raining today. Like, why are we like blowing the air so hard? Like, why is this air on like this? Why does it feel like winter in this doggone stove? I walked around the whole time basically with my arms. I'm just all fold up and stuff. I said, this don't make no sense. I told Cameron Child, let's get what we got to get and get on up out of here. Huh. Anyways, we went in TJ Maxx for a little bit and um, I was looking for a rug for my bathroom because the one that's in there, it just ain't long enough for me. It's nice, but I want something a little longer. Like when I'm standing there brushing my teeth or doing whatever, I like to cop it up under my foot. You know, I want me something soft. I don't want to just stand on the floor, child. And I just couldn't find nothing, child. I'm, I don't know. I, it, it's, it is what it is. But I, um, I don't know if I said I was trying to get my desk area over there together. But child, it's look a hot mess right now. There's stuff everywhere. And when the videos came out, I just took that time and just sat right here. Sat. Yeah, I got somewhere inside. Sat down. That don't even sound right. I sat. Anyway. However, I got somewhere inside. Sat down. Yep. And I'm watching these vlogs right now. And that's what I'm going to be doing for a little while. Um, mm hmm It's 4.45. And I'm finna finish watching my girls and chill out for a little bit. And I guess whenever I get ready to do something, child, I pick this phone back up or something. I need to charge it because it's about to die. So, anyways, yes. Um, I'm going to finish watching these vlogs and I'll get back to you. Alrighty then. Bye bye now. Uh, y'all, I'm still on this couch. I was on the couch the last time I. Son, what's wrong with you? Why are you, why are you breathing like that? Child, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with the little boy? Ooh, anyways, what was I saying? First of all, let me put my glasses on so I can see who I'm talking to. Yes, there you are now. Okay. Um, I was on this couch the last time I talked to y'all. Yeah, I've been, I've been right here. Well, I got up and I did a little something, something. Uh, I watched all my girls' videos because, you know, I told you we posted a Real Housewives YouTube vlog today. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, remember I told I was going to make that sandwich that I saw Cindy making in her vlog? I ain't do that. I just ain't feel like it. Uh, um, I just throw some, uh, them great value chicken tenders in the oven. Mm hmm I just put that, put some of them in the oven and I had me, uh, some of them with some, uh, Hawaiian bread. That was enough. Yep. Drank me some ginger. I'm straight. I'm straight. I need to go to bed because, um, I got a doctor's appointment in the morning at nine o'clock, child. Mm hmm Nine o'clock. Ooh, anyways, however, Sicky's sitting over here putting some bingo on his shoulder. He said his shoulder bothering him and stuff. And um, I'm sitting over here looking at this desk area that I call myself trying to uh, put together. Yeah, it still look like that. And it's probably going to look like that. Uh, can y'all see that? Can y'all see the foolishness? Child, bye. That is out of control. It's, it don't matter. I get it together directly. I just don't feel like doing it. Uh, all I feel like doing is hitting the rain locker and closing my eyes. I don't know if I told y'all in the last vlog that, uh, child, I've been going to bed. Yep. Ever since I came back from Atlanta, I've been going to bed. I had to get myself together because I was very much out of line. My habits were out of control. All this staying up, uh, all of that. I think I did have this conversation with y'all before. Yeah, child, I had, to, I had to change some things. It was too much. Nobody should be living like this. Who does this? Sicky used to look at me like, it's 6 o'clock in the morning and you just not getting into bed. And then I would lay down and get my hind pots right back up at 8.30. That is absolutely ridiculous. Running out for two and a half hours of sleep. Um, waking up on one day, going to sleep the next day. Mm -mm, I shouldn't be doing that. So I had to stop. I had to get myself together. And then, you know, Cynthia, child, Cynthia be on it. Y'all know Cynthia is consistent. She is uh, very disciplined, very regimented. And I love that. I used to be that person. Mm -hmm. 
I was very regimented, very consistent. I mean, I'm regimented, but like being consistent with like doing things like, you know, um, like this Real Housewives YouTube video. Child Cindy had her video uh, uh, uploaded like two, three days before the video went out. I said, child, I love it. But what I started doing was I started, um, like I told you I had to get up early. I wanted me, I wanted to start another uh, a habit, just change some things. Get on up, get your day started. Whatever you got to do that day, go on ahead and get it out the way so you can have the rest of the day to yourself. And then that way you can go to bed like regular peoples, okay? Regular peoples. You know, I be talking about Sicky and Cynthia going to bed. Child, I be going to bed right along with them. Last night I was in the bed before 11 o'clock. And I fell asleep. I went on the way. Well, I ain't going to say I fell asleep. I went on ahead and just let my body go to sleep because I felt myself going. And normally I fight it like a child, like I'm finna miss something. Child, I let my body go to sleep. And I woke up. It was 3.15 in the morning. I said, good Lord. I've been asleep for a long time, child. I'm ready to get up now. I'm ready to get up. Like, I should be getting up. Like, it should be light outside because I feel like I've been asleep long enough to get up and do some things. I didn't know. I rolled over and went right back to sleep for three and a half more hours. Yep, I got up at like 6.30 and got my day started. Mm-hmm, sure did. You know, I'm starting to um, feel rested when I wake up versus going to bed tired and still waking up tired, you know? And does anybody ever notice... How easy it is to get up when you wake up on your own versus waking up to an alarm clock. Let that alarm clock wake you up. You be like, oh, God, it's time to get up already. But when you wake up on your own, just when you just ease into waking up, it's so lovely. But when that alarm clock go off, you be like, oh, my God, this it can't be time to get up already. Hmm. When that 315 rolled around, I was ready to get up, child. I said, I know I'm supposed to be up, but I've been sleeping too long. That's a doggone shame. Body just ain't used to being did the resting. Anyway, I digress. Yes, I digress. Anyways, well, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here now and um, go and hit the rain locker and sensitize my body. And because um, I got a lot of stuff, ahead. I got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. Yeah, I got to get that desk area together and something else. I don't know, but whatever it is, y'all will be right here with me. Yep, sure will. So, however, I'm going to say good night for now. And then I'll get back with you all later. Mm. Now, you ain't said nothing the whole time. You gonna bust out and say some mm. Y'all used to him being rude like that, not saying hey to y'all. Hey, y'all. Ciao, bye. Anyway, bye-bye now. Good peepers. Good morning to you. Well, as y'all can see, it's daylight, so that means it's another day. Anyways. Good morning, good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Um, we on our way to the doctor. You know, I told you I got a doctor's appointment this morning at uh nine o'clock. It's ten till eight. Um, we gonna stop at the books because anything else will be uncivilized. Yes, that part. Anyhow, now, hey, anyhow, now, child, early in the morning, I'm important. Don't know it. Ooh, child, bye. Ooh, anyway. Yes, what did I just say? We're going to the to the to the bucks. Yes, gotta go to the bucks because child, I woke up, my stomach was growling. Ooh, I had to hurry and get myself together this morning. I was weak doing it too, but I did it. I made it. I made it. Ooh, and we are in the car and on our way, child. Mm-hmm. Uh what I got going on today? I know when we get back, I got to do something with that, uh, with that desk area over there because the way I left it last night, now that's uncivilized. That's uncivilized. I shouldn't even, but I ain't even care. Mm -hmm. I went to bed. Yep. I went to bed. Told you I've been going to bed now. Oh, uh, what's up? What else I was getting ready to say to you? Parentment. The Bucks. No, wrong, 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 wrong. The Bucks. Parentment. And then, uh. Go home and clean up. Yeah, something, something like that. Mm -hmm. Office. Yeah, well, whatever you want to call them. I, I just call it my little work area because done showing no office i don't have it uh anymore <sighs> anyways i'm gonna digress again yes that's two times i done digressed well, keep digressing in a minute you're gonna digest see what that meant you don't know what digest means. i know what digest means but you aren't you stopping by the bucks so i keep digressing and in a minute i'm gonna be digesting hey why though you important don't know it baby i don't know what you meant by that but you know right now you digress. You get all that whatever's out of you. You need to get all that out of you before you put your food in it so you can digest. Jesus. Oh, child, I am in this marriage alone. I am in this. Ooh, I'm in this.
this marriage alone. Yeah, you should know how I feel. <sighs> Anyways. Lord, you show, you show. This my helpmate. You show. My soulmate, helpmate. You, you show. You say so. It seems like me and him both baffled by your decision. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah! However, well, I'm finna get on off of here and um, get over here to this place and chew. And we gonna holler at you. I did it again. <laughs> Ooh, child, I'm on my game this morning, child. Don't be hating, sick. Don't be hating. I'm going to be in the world's book. Wait, I'm going to be in the Guinness World Book of Poets. I just made a book. That ain't even no book, but I just made one up. Yep, I'm going to be in it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in it. Watch. Watch now. Watch what I tell you. Don't be surprised. Okay? It's going to be things. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll holler at y'all later because she's just rambling on, right? At this point, she's just rambling and rambling on. And I'm talking. hungry. I'm weak. And I uh, ain't really saying nothing. So, we're going to holler at y'all in the field, okay? The audacity. I'm going to get it all. Go ahead and let the people go. Ciao, bye. Well, good peoples, as y'all can see, it's daylight. So, that means it's another day. Anyways, however, when we got back home yesterday from the doctor, like y'all, the weather was so bad here yesterday. It was horrible. When I say the weather was bad, um, and I just did not feel like picking up the camera when I got back, when we got finished, I just didn't have it in me. I wasn't feeling that well yesterday. So, um, yeah, uh, I was in here doing stuff, but like little bit by little bit. And what I mean by doing stuff is, cause remember I told y'all I was trying to get my desk area together well guess what i did it i'm gonna show y'all that in a little bit and i love the way it came out but uh it took me all day yep i do a little bit sit down rest for a while get up do a little bit sit down rest for a while so um yeah, it, it took me a minute but i finally got it done and i'm so glad i'm sitting up here looking at it mm -hmm. when i woke up this morning i said i'm finna go out here and look at my uh look at my office area <laughs> show it in. anyway y'all i'm also getting ready to um make these them sandwiches remember uh y'all remember the sandwiches that cynthia made i think her and shanti both made them and they've uh the last the uh, real housewives of youtube vlog i think they made them um yeah as soon as i get on here it's like i start it starts anytime y'all see me do this you already know you already know what's going on like hunger just show up whenever she feel like it she's so disrespectful oh she get on my nerves child anyways however um what was i talking about what was i saying Oh, the sandwiches. Yes. The sandwiches that Cynthia and uh, Shanti made. Yeah, I'm getting ready to uh, make that. And I was prepping. I got my little stuff out here. So I'm about to make that. And um, I've been wanting me some eggs out of it. I don't know if I'm going to make that today or not. But I think I'm going to make me a little small bowl. Because I don't think nobody else want none. But it is what it is. I want it. Mm -hmm. So I make me a couple of eggs. I mean, barrel a couple of eggs. And then, uh, what's the matter with you? It's Chris. I barrel me a couple of eggs. So y'all, and then he smacking, <laughs> he's smacking on top of that. Anyways, however, um, I burned me a couple of eggs just so I can have some because I don't think nobody else want none. But um, yeah, I'm finna prep my stuff or well, finish prepping my stuff so I can get these sandwiches together and they can chew because uh, it's well, it's a little bit after two o'clock. Well, it's yeah, two or five. Um, you know, me and Chris, we went to the barber shop today. It's Friday, so y'all know what that means. But, um, yeah, I'm finna get on off of here and get these sandwiches made. And then, uh, I'm gonna get back with y'all directly. But before that, I'm gonna show y'all my little office area. Um, it's, um, I'm gonna give y'all a little before so y'all can see what it looked like before it got like this. And then uh, I'll show y'all what I, uh, you know, what the, what I done did with the place. I mean, with the thing. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs>
Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the hygiene If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Taking just to be and live my life. Don't take it personal. We just build. Make a name for generations, please, and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me. figured I would show y'all or tell y'all where I got some of this stuff from that I used to get my little area right here together just in case somebody wanted to know. Um, a lot of this stuff I already had, but I'm going to just start up here first. I got these two pictures from um, Hobby Lobby and uh, Hobby Lobby was having a sale. It was like, it seemed like the whole doggone store was 50% off, y'all. Um, let me see how much this picture is because the thing is on the back. I just took the 
Let me see. Yeah, the pictures, they were $17.99. And you see, I got two of them. So I got two of them for $17.99, rather. And um, this Hello sign, I've been had that. It was out in my garage. Um, it was white, and I spray painted it gold. Been had that little ambition sign. I don't know where I got that from. Been had it forever. I have no idea. But um, in a uh, little family picture, I made them this little canvas the other day. And uh, that little thing that it's sitting on, it was silver, and I spray painted it gold. But um, my lamp, when I tell y'all I absolutely love this lamp, I got it from Amazon. And if I think it was like $45, and I love it. It comes with a remote, y'all. Um, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Anyway, yeah, it comes with a remote, and um, you can brighten it. It's got a bunch of different, uh, like, settings, like you can go warm or, you know, uh, just, I don't know if y'all see the difference. But uh, I can see, you know, you, you can just adjust it. And I love that um, about that. I got this kind of lamp right here because my desk ain't but so big. And I didn't want to uh, uh, have a lamp that was sitting up here because it was taking up a lot of space. I had one up here before, but it was just taking up too much space, child. Um, I got this uh, mouse pad from Amazon. Um, I saw Shanti. I think, I think it was Shanti that I saw with this mouse pad. And I had had this in my doggone uh in my um well things on my easy than my card my wish list i can't remember but when i saw hers i had to get it because i'm like man i can't really tell how big it is but when i saw hers i said yeah i want that in my life because i was trying to do like the little gold stuff over here and um i went on ahead and got that i can't remember how much it was but i try to link this stuff down here just in case y'all interested i'm not sure but i got this mouse from hobby lobby it was uh half off it was 9.99 so i got it for five dollars um this right here i just told you i made that i don't know where this came from y'all i've been had this this right here for quite some time i want to say i got it from ross i can't remember but this little cup right here this little gold cup i got that from um hobby lobby as well i think it was 9.99 so i got it for five dollars these little um acrylic and gold scissors try to see that little acrylic and gold scissors there was 2.99 child mm -hmm. i don't think those um half off though but um these little tool pins i, I got a bunch of these um rachel uh, use these and she loves them and she gave me a few of them uh, yesterday when I saw her and these little gold pins here I got these from um, Amazon it was a pack of them came with three this little white one here came with three of those and then those two right there I got these from I got these from Dollar Tree yep mm -hmm. anyway that little acrylic phone thing I got that from Amazon as well um, let me move my laptop this um, the laptop riser or whatever they call it the acrylic riser i got it from um amazon i think it was 20 dollars yes uh the stapler i got from um hobby lobby child and i think it was 9.99 as well and it was half off this little everyday i'm hustling sign i got that from um dollar general it was 350 yes i don't know if y'all can see that little acrylic and gold tray i got that from target dollar spot last year i think it was i think i got like three of them uh what else this came from Dollar General a while ago. Um, I start. I told y'all when I know I want to do something. When I start and I know my little, you know, pattern or whatever color. If I see it, I start picking it up. Um, yeah, I've been had this. Got that from Dollar General. I said I think it was like three or five dollars, something like that. I can't remember. Got that from Hobby Lobby. Uh, been had that. Can't remember how long. I mean, I can't remember how much that is. But you know, all my little journals and stuff like that. Um, I think I got them two journals right there in the front from uh, uh, Bells or something like that. But, oh, and I, let me go back up here because my, my, my shelf, Sicky did this shelf for me. Yes, he did. It was a, a piece of board that we had out in the garage, and it was a little wider than that. And when we brought it in here, I was like, yeah, that's way too wide because it was coming out here. And so he just cut it down the middle for me and um, uh, stained it like this black, and bam, he put it up for me yesterday, and, and, and there you have it. Yes, he did a good job. Yes, he did. But back over here into what I was saying, these little things, I got these from Hobby Lobby. I cannot remember how much they were. I want to say this, they was half off whatever it was. Oh, I didn't get that from Hobby Lobby. I got that from Bells. It was on clearance for like three, three $3 or something, but I've been had it. It was a different color and I spray painted it black. But yeah, this was from Hobby Lobby and I think it was, I want to say it was like $7, something like that. Child, I can't remember. I'm terrible at that. But this picture came from Hobby Lobby as well. What was, how much was this? It was $9.99, but I only paid $5 for a child because it was on. It was it was 50% off. Um, been had those. Don't even remember where I got them from, child. Uh, uh, they they were two separate, uh, like, pieces, and I just glued them together. Um, those 
these pictures, I mean, not pictures, y'all, what's wrong with me? These little fake uh, greenery, child, what's wrong with me? I got them from Dollar Tree a long time ago, and I just, they were way longer than that, and I cut them down and um, stuck them down in there, and that little thing came from Dollar Tree as well, but it was, uh, I just, I put some painter's tape in the middle, let me back up a little bit, and I just spray painted that gold, mm-hmm, did that, yeah, and this bookcase came from uh, Walmart, it was $22, Got I did okay Walmart twenty two dollars because I'm getting I feel like I'm getting a little ahead of myself y'all um these little cases right here these uh, little baskets I got these from Hobby Lobby and they were like twelve ninety this one was twelve ninety nine and I think this one was um seven ninety nine but they were fifty percent off so I got the black one and the white one and the same over here as well mm hmm yeah I just needed something to house. Um, like my little extra, or like my Bible and all of that stuff, and some like my YouTube journals and all of that, and just like like extra little stuff that I, you know, use and little phone cables and um, little phone holders and stuff like that, and my printer as well, and some of my other journals also, and uh, that's it, y'all. That is it, y'all. I'm just glad it's over with. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I got that done because it was just, you know, looming, yes, looming over my head and I wanted to be done. Mm -hmm. But anyway, my sandwiches, they threw, child, they threw. So let's go on ahead and get them out the oven. Mm -hmm. Child, these appliances. Let's, let's, let's see what we got. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all, let's pull this out. So I fade to black. see i'm up in my laundry room um after i got finished chewing which by the way them doggone sandwiches know that was the business child buy them things was good Ooh, i said subway uh who else firehouse sub whoever they ain't got nothing on me they ain't got nothing on tip sub you hear me okay then um i was sitting down resting and i was just bored um i thought i was gonna doze off for a little bit but that never happened so um I decided to just come in here and um, uh, change out my... I've been had these containers for a while, um, child, because I've been wanting to do something different in my... Uh, change out the containers in my laundry room. And I got them from Dollar General. This one, this was a smaller one. This one was $5. And then I got the bigger ones over here. These were, uh, these were six. So um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna put in them, but I've already placed them. So uh, I think that um, I'm gonna put like my OxyClean, cause I made these labels with my Cricut child. Mm -hmm. I learned how to make sticker labels with my Cricut. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I was bored and I said, well, let me come in here and do this. The, um, can't really watch nothing, which I don't mean, I don't watch TV like that no way, but can't really, um, do a whole whole lot because the wi-fi is out it's been out since like six something this morning child the storm whoo child the storm that came through here this morning mm, mm, mm. out of control um we had this huge this big boom of thunder and lightning in a couple of seconds after that the next thing i know the tv said you no longer have wi-fi yep the tv spoke to me and said you no longer have wi-fi don't even worry about it so they said the storm just took them out so there it is so the storm been out, I mean, the, the Wi-Fi been out all day long and they probably don't know when it's going to come back. But anyway, so I decided to um, come in here and move all my stuff over to these containers and put these labels on here and just because uh, I needed to refill this stuff anyways. Um, they was already empty, so I was going to refill them. But I was like, why refill them when you know you want to switch them out? So just go on ahead and, and refill them and switch them out. But um, I'm going to do that right now and somebody told me about to try the downy intense 
Y'all didn't tell me that I had to stop the credit union first to get this because I got this from Walmart, child, and I ain't see no other size. And this one was uh, eight or nine dollars. I say, child, for um, what, the, what is this? Forty-eight ounces for forty-eight ounces, almost ten dollars. I was feeling some kind of way, and I tried it. I didn't notice any difference. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Yeah, it's the, it's not like the regular diamond. I didn't notice any difference, but I tell you what, this one right here, um, I've been using this one. This uh, what's what's this? The downy, the ultra downy, the cool cotton. I've been using this one, and I can definitely smell this in my clothes. But um, I didn't pay for this. Yeah, I didn't pay for it. I'm finna go. I'm I'm gonna be using this. Show lamb, show lamb, gonna be using that. Um, but y'all, um, I, I meant to tell y'all earlier that um, you know, I was a little sad. I was grieving because y'all. Y'all know Big Girl went away from here uh, early in the year. You know, the Lord called her home. And, um, you know, I, I got me another uh, corn plant up in there. And child, homegirl is, uh, she on life support. Um, I think that's my, this is my last time getting a corn plant. Yeah, homegirl is on life support. She in ICU. She ain't gonna make it. Um, I knew she wasn't gonna make it when I... Last Saturday, it was storming here, and it was just raining all day. And I said, oh, you know, I told y'all, Cindy and Mama said to, um, you know, that plants like rainwater. So I said, all my plants outside and let them get some water, right? Child, that was more than enough. Didn't leave my daddy alone. I, just, you know, just enough for them to get whatever I would normally put in there. Well, Sicky was the one that brought them in. I wasn't home. And when I got home, or well, no, on the way home, I called him, I said, I asked him if he got the plants in from outside. He said, yeah, I put them on the um on the back porch and we're going to, you know, and then we'll bring them on in. But he said, before I did that, I, I, I gave him some more water. Why would you do that? What's wrong with him? Why would you do that? Child, my cone plant, she finna go out. She finna go. And I knew it. I said, that's too much water. It's too much water. What's wrong with Silk? What's wrong with him? Homeboy. Oh, child. I sent, um. I already knew what the problem was, but I just wanted a professional opinion, okay? I just wanted to make sure what I was thinking was what I was thinking was going on, you know? So I sent a little video or whatever to uh, Cindy, and I said, hey, send this to uh, to your mom and ask her uh, it, it, uh, how do I, it, if I can bring my plant back. She said, don't even worry about it. Basically, my mama said, yeah, it's, it's overwatering, which is what I said. Child, Sicky just went above, and well, he didn't even go above and beyond. He did two merch, child. Then kill the dog on plant. And then the other day he had the audacity to apologize to her. She don't forgive you. She finna go out. She on her way out. It's time to call the family in. Child, bye. Anyways, however, I'll show y'all her later. It's so hard to say goodbye. But she in bad shape. Oh, I was grieving. That's another reason why I couldn't pick up the camera yesterday. I told Cindy, I said, girl, I'm grieving. I ain't getting no more corn plants. No more. That's it. Anyway, well, I'm going to go on, on ahead and um, get this stuff in these containers and finish getting them labeled. And then I'll show y'all uh, the finished product. I might even bring y'all along and show y'all. I, I ain't got to see me fill the things up. That's that's a lot. I don't know. I might. It depends. Anyway, well, let me get into it. I can cut my music on to get into my groove. Yes, I will talk to you all. I ain't got the energy later. There it is. I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time To protect my love from potential offense So I
homie, we were just friends But we started building trust and my fragile heart started to mend yeah. I should have paid attention You would have been the obvious choice Cut through the noise So I Then you And you But I So you And I I'm not surprised by what I found Cause I know I needed something different It's daylight, so that means it's another day. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm back up in here, but y'all y'all ain't never even knew I left. So anyway, um, I, I ran out and did a couple of errands this morning real quick and came on back to the house because uh, the weather here has been uh, bad all day. So I don't want to get caught out there in the foolishness um, because, you know, these people here, they already can't drive when it's dry. So uh, when it get wet, it's a whole... Uh, another situation so I went on here and did what I had to do and came on back I just ran and um where did I go this morning uh, uh, where did I go I went to uh oh Saget and then I ran to TJ Maxx real quick and I came on back to the house I only had a few things to get out of uh to get out of Target what's the matter with you oh uh, I just had a few things that I needed to get why you come around to get more people see you say hey to the people hey <laughs> Good hair. Excuse hey. our hair. It's hair washing day. Ooh, child. <laughs> but anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, I went and Target. Only had a few items to get out of there, and then I ended up getting uh three things that I hadn't planned on getting, child. But uh, I just got some Mrs. Myers. What is this? The lilac scent. I like this. I got that, and then I got uh the mint scent. Mhm. Mm and then I got me some wood for good. Yes. And then I got these right here. Um, Rachel had turned me on to these, but she got a different one. This, um, what is this? One second, let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm reading. Okay. Yes, there we are. Uh-huh. 
Um, this is called Good Chemistry. The scent is Tiger Lily. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Tiger Lily Body Mist. And um, child, they got the stuff on here. Like the writing is the same color as the doggone bottle. Like why would they do that? Why would they package it like that? Let me see. Uh, good Chemistry. It's supposed to be like vegan or something like that. I don't know child, but it smells really good. Uh, what is it? Orange flower, vanilla, and amber. It smells absolutely amazing, but it's like um, like a hat, like a uh, body mist. Tiger Lily Good Chemistry. I got it from Target. I think it was ten dollars, nine ninety nine, or ten ninety nine. One of them. However, it smells so good, child. I said that's a good, uh, you know, every day or something like that. I don't know. And then I got these right here. Uh oh, y'all all right? Yes. Okay. Um, these right here. This is Mix Bar. This one is Cloud Musk. It's a hair and body mist. It smells so good, child. I think this one was $9.99. And this one is Whipped Almond Hair and Body Mist. Child, they smell so good. Mm-hmm. They smell real good. Um, so I just got that. And then I came on out and I got these little uh, black and gold pins, child. And came on out because I told you I wasn't trying to be in there long. And um, the cheering that was in there this morning, child, them cheering was out of control. I said, this is... Sheer pandemonium on a Saturday morning. Just in there, just hollering to the top of their lungs. I mean, just doing the most. I, today, I heard two or three cheering. Let me fix this, because y'all know I think this thing be sliding or something, child. And I just don't understand why I be doing that. Be treating me like that. Um, Hold on, y'all. Okay, I think that's good enough. But, um, yeah, just hollering to the top of their lungs, child. The children was out of control this morning. Um, I heard two or three cheering tell their mamas they was ready to go home. And I think the mamas be blocking them out or something or whatever. But I heard one respond. This was in TJ Maxx, though. The little girl said not only did she say she was ready to go home, but she said she was hungry. All her mama said was, you ready to go home? And that's it. And her mama kept shopping. The next thing you know, that little girl was showing her whole tail. I said, she told you 30 minutes she was ready to go home and you didn't pay her no attention. And now you looking at her like, like she crazy telling her to stop. Uh-uh. Don't stop. Keep on hollering. Let me get out of here first before you keep on hollering. But the little girl told her she was ready to go home. She sure did. She said she was ready to go home. And you kept right on shopping like that child didn't say, she didn't say a word. I said, ooh, child. I got to go. I have got to go. Um, I don't know what it is with me. Why as soon as I walk in the store, these chairs start hollering, y'all. I, whew, it was too much. Um, I was gonna say something about one of them um cheering, but I can't remember. Um, oh, I was getting ready to say like I don't understand how the parents ignore the child that's screaming. How do you ignore that? Because I can hear it way across the store when I first walk in, and you know they we. You got to take them home. You got to take them home because, um, you know, other parishioners that's walking around in the store, we deserve to shop and browse in peace. We deserve to shop and browse in peace. We shouldn't have to listen to these children holler like that. Ooh, child, bye. It's too much. Anyways, but um, when I went in uh, TJ Maxx, I was looking for a rug. Y'all, I've been looking for a, um, a rug, like a runner for my, um, for my laundry room and for my bathroom for a while and i just can't seem to find what i'm looking for i'm also very sick and tired of looking at the decor that's in my bathroom y'all know i get um i get bored real quick and um i can't well i'm not gonna say i'm sick of looking at it but i'm ready to switch it out even though i just did it like what last year sometime like it's crazy that we've been over here almost a year time be flying time ain't waiting on nobody but yeah um the uh I, I, I've been looking for a rug, and I just can't seem to find what I'm looking for, child. So I ain't finding any TJ Maxx. The only thing I found in TJ Maxx was this right here. These uh, these uh, Mickey Mouse coasters. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's a set of coasters. It says, Love Mickey. I thought that was real cute. With the little black ears, and then it's gold. I said, child, I can go with my desk right there. Because you know my stuff over there, black and white and gold, child. Yes, and then this one say, Love Minnie. Um, I like Minnie Mouse, but... Not like Mickey. If I had to choose, it's always going to be Mickey Mouse, you know. But if she in there, I go on ahead and take her too. But, um, you know, Mickey, that's my boy right there. That is my boy. Good peoples, as you can see, uh, it's daylight, so that means it's another day. Anyways, um, I said I was going to get back with y'all last night because uh, me and Sicky was supposed to be doing a day night. Child, we didn't. We didn't. I didn't feel like it. By the time he got home, I didn't feel like it no more. I was over that. Mm-hmm. So uh, he just picked up uh, picked up something or whatever and brought it on in here so we can chew. 
Yes, and we did that. But I was going to pick, I did, now, I did have intentions on picking up the camera, you know, and hollering at y'all again last night with y'all. Mm. We fell asleep on the couch. We was watching, uh, what you call it? Uh, what was watching? Yellowstone. Trying to catch up on that. Cynthia, girl, Shanti, child. We trying to catch up on it. Um, I could have swore I used to watch that on Netflix because we had started. And when I went to Netflix to go look for it, we couldn't find it. It wasn't there no more. They told us we had to go to Peacock. Thank God we already had Peacock anyways. So that's what we was watching on the child. Still fell asleep. Yep. Whew. Anyways, um, y'all, today, Lord have mercy. I had to run a Walmart. I just went in there to get one thing because, well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, one, two, three things because Cynthia, uh is sending me a piece of one of her plants. Yes, she is. I wanted to get her home. So I had to go in there and get me a propagation station. So when she get here, child, I, you know, I can make her feel at home and go on ahead and, and put her in some water and whatnot. You know, just make her feel welcome and everything and let her know I'm going to take care of her. Mm-hmm, surely. So... Uh, I was I was gonna vlog while I was in there. I couldn't do that. Mm -mm. I was on the phone with Auntie Rachel when I was walking in the store, so that was out anyways. But then, who child? As soon as I walked in the store, y'all already know. Y'all already know somebody's child mm -hmm, was having a nervous breakdown, a mental breakdown, a meltdown, whatever you want to call it. They was having it, and now I heard them. They was on the clearly. I could tell they was on the other side of the store, and then as I was looking for the things that I was looking for, um, the, the child got closer and closer and closer. I told Rachel, I said, you hear that child? The little girl, when I turned around, y'all, that she was, she was right there by me. I said, oh my God, child. <sighs> this little girl couldn't have been no more than about three, I give her between three and four. She was walking behind her mama. Now it was, a, you could tell it was a family. It was a daddy and then they had another child in the buggy. And then the mama and this child was walking with the mama. But the little girl was hollering at her mama to the top of her lungs, telling her mama what she wasn't going to do, where she wanted to go, and where she wasn't going. I said, Lord, well, I had to go that way because what I needed was in their direction. Lord and mercy Jesus, y'all. The next thing I know, that little girl just sat down in the middle of the floor. She threw her body to the floor. Um, Y'all, I had to walk past the little girl. And you could tell her mama, I don't know if her mama, well, I don't think her mama was embarrassed because her mama was just standing there looking at her. And then I, I was going this way and there was another lady coming this way and her mama just kind of made eye contact with both of us and, and said, sorry. Um, I just kind of smiled and just, you know, you know, and, and kept it pushing. Uh, because for Tiff, as for me and mine, let me tell you something. I wouldn't have been apologizing for her behavior. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry for tearing up y'all store like this. Yep, that's what I would have been apologizing for. Because when I tell you, mm, mm, yeah, uh-huh. I can't believe I told y'all story up like this. I am so sorry. Child, bye. Uh, I just don't know what's going on in the world. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, you know, I just, like I said, I, I went in there just to get this right here. And I had to get me some more Earl. This is my favorite body Earl. Yes, I went in there to get some of this. I got the the, the scrub. I got the lotion, all that. Mm -hmm. And then I just went in there to get me some uh, lemongrass essential Earl. Yeah. And oh, and I got this right here too. Uh, I got me the automatic soap dispenser. I got two of them. That by Better Homes and Garden. Y'all, I had to uh, get this because um, you know I'm, my hands. I'm starting to struggle with my hands, and so um, it's a little. It's a you know, my hands and stuff hurt a lot and they be weak and stuff. So I figure, hey, when I'm in here washing dishes and whatnot, I can just take my sponge and just slide it on the bunny there and, hey, get me some uh, soap and whatnot. Just, you know, make my life a little easier. Um, mm -hmm. I think I might have told y'all the reason why I changed them, um, the, 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 not dispensers, what you call them things, the jars in my laundry room. I changed them out because, yeah, it was, you know, everything was nice and it looked good. It was aesthetically pleasing, them glass jars, but the tops on them. We, we're not going to talk about the amount of times that I've almost dropped or dropped and thank God it didn't break. But you, I just never know when I'm, when my, I'm a, I think I have it. And then my hands be like, no, nah, we ain't got it today, sis. We had to let it go. And uh, matter of fact, as I was changing them out, I dropped one. I dropped the whole jar in the top out in the hallway. Thank God it didn't break. And I said, I'm going to have to go on ahead and get something with a, um, 
like a plastic top or I don't know those that's a wood top on there so that did me right so uh you know if I drop it it's not gonna break because your girl been struggling with her hands lately mm -hmm. so I just go on here to help myself out in and, and whatnot but um we supposed to be going over Auntie Rachel house later on so I think we're supposed to do that yesterday or day before that or something I don't know but um we're gonna uh go over there and holler at her I think that's that's the plan I don't know depending on what the weather be like if the weather if the weather is uh if the weather is um if the weather is crazy then we're not going nowhere we're gonna be right here so yeah anyway y'all i just want to uh pop on here and holler at y'all for a little bit and y'all i mean uh, i brought this in here uh this right here this mix bar um this stuff i told you i got from target um it's a hair and body mist the the scent is whipped almond whoo y'all when i tell you this stuff know it smells good for for it to be a body mist it smells absolutely amazing. I was telling Rachel about it this morning. She said, child, I got to get it. I said, yeah, you sure do. Because it smells so good. She was on Target trying to order it, but they didn't have none at her store. I said, well, you might have to do the online thing or something. I don't know. But um, uh, let me, I just want to put a little bit on the back of my, my hand because, shy. Ooh, y'all smell that? Ooh, it smells absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. smells so good. Sick, it was like, oh, baby, that smells good. I said, it do, don't it? Mm, anyways, well, I'm going to take me and my good smelling self on somewhere and um, go in here and get silk to help me change these sheets on this bed. And um, yeah, because it's that time. It's always, it's, like it's always that time, I guess, because I change my sheets once a week. So I'm going on ahead to get that done and I'll holler at you all later. How you going to help me go out and you ain't even said nothing to you? ain't even say hey to y'all. Hey, y'all. Ciao, bye. Anyways. Well, y'all, as y'all can see, the century has changed. We over here with Auntie Rachel, and I'm very, very yeah. uncomfortable. This little girl, somebody come get her. Hey, mom. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm sorry. Child, we over here uh, we'll be in Antarctica because the lady, the lady with the... with the, I you, changed and I took it up. Look, look, let me tell you what she say. Let me fix this because, you know, I got the prop. She say she knew we was coming. Mm-hmm. And she had the air on six to eight. Mm -hmm. She said, so I knew y'all was coming, so I moved it up to 70. I did. Okay. Let me ask y'all this. Because <laughs> uh, I asked her this right here. If it's 116 outdoors and the temperature dropped down to 114, are we going to notice it? See, look, the air just oh. came on again. Oh, Lord. We ain't going to make it over here. When I tell you, I mean, we come in, she got fans and whatnot going. The ladies say she had it at six to eight, and I knew y'all was coming, so I took it up to 70. And then I took it to 72. 72 feel like 32 up in here. We It's below zero. The cheering. And I you think because this is a new apartment. That ain't got nothing to do with it. The air conditioning system is strong. <laughs> it need to get. It need to be a little weak. No, it's you. You strong with the. With the... <clears throat> well, what y'all want me to put it on? What do y'all think I should put it on, y'all? I'm a little high nature. 60. But, I'm, but, I'm but, a but let me tell you something. Woman. Let me tell you something. My cheering ain't. My cheering that live here with her. They not hot nature. Move your stupid hand. Oh, they not hot nature. <laughs> <laughs> they not hot nature, okay? That Rachel, that Rachel, Rachel that people. That's my baby right there, y'all. Her oh. and Chris were my first babies. I no. want her to move. <laughs> no, Mom. She on my, my house standing up right there. Child, bye. When I tell you. It's my snuggle puff. What is that? <laughs> Rachel, Chris and Cameron got it, it, all these cheering. Got so many nicknames. It's absolutely ridiculous. Did you try to pay from Starbucks today? The, the pineapple, but you forgot. The line was too long. Y'all, yeah. I went to the Bucks this morning. I went to the Bucks. Y'all know I went to the Bucks because anything else would be uncivilized. Yes, that part. Anyways, so um, I was gonna be um, real uh, adventurous, you know, and try uh, another drink. They had that pineapple punch. Pineapple, pineapple passion fruit. Refresher, I think. Let right. me tell you. Mm -mm. I asked the lady if it was good, and she said, Tiff, it tastes like, y'all know what, I'm not going to say it. Um, but that's what the lady said it tastes like. And um, when I got around to the window to get my order, child, she had me a little smile and a little sample. What it did to the back of my throat, I didn't appreciate that taste. And I stopped over there yesterday trying to get one, but they were all out of the pineapple stuff that goes <sighs> in it. So I got a black tea lemonade, like what you get. Pineapple ain't supposed to be uh, uh, sour. And then 
I went today, but the line was wrapped around and it was raining. I was trying to get the kids home. I was you, coming from Target. You ain't missing Nathaniel. You ain't missing. When I tell you that drink was disgusting, I said, you ain't. Oh, oh. Like she probably would, though. She probably would because anybody. Yeah, she likes that. that, that that's what I'm about tea. to say. Anybody who likes the matcha. What is it? The matcha, matcha green, green tea? tea. Ooh, child. That's sour milk. <laughs> sour milk. And she messed around there and let my niece and nephews taste it. They was pissed. <laughs> The look on their face, they was like, I can't believe you let me taste that. <laughs> and you know, I grabbed I them, I grabbed work. them and ran out of Target. I got all three of them, I just grabbed them. And the lady at the Starbucks <laughs> at work was like, why do you drink this? Right, it's disgusting. I don't know, I know some of y'all out there drinking it. It's nasty. It's really good. Mm, it's really it, not. It's really like the matcha, because I like the taste of the matcha. What is matcha even? I thought it was mocha. No, it's matcha. Let's look it up for real. What? I'm uncomfortable, you know, I'm uncomfortable. Um, y'all, I was watching Chucks this morning. Y'all know, cause y'all know your girl is mm -hmm. very, very articulate. Y'all know I'm articulate. Bruh. So let me tell you, I was watching Chuch. For those of you who live in the Atlanta area, do y'all know who Bishop Bronner is, Word of Faith? Yes, I'm still a member there. Mm -hmm. So I watched Chuch on Sundays, child, and Bishop Bronner, homeboy came out of his mouth and he said, he said this morning, he said, who are you? Who are you mm -hmm. without your external accoutrements? Child, it's the accoutrements. I said, now that's some articulation for you yes, right there. That's a nice, yes, a nice, nice articulation, ain't it? Good Webster's Dictionary Ooh, type word. Child, right he up. is a walking dictionary. Homeboy said articulation. Any of y'all that watch me that's in the Atlanta area, do y'all, are, are y'all members at Word of Faith? Do y'all know who I'm talking about? I know you know who I'm talking about. I know you know who I'm talking about. Anyways, however... You know who I watched? Mm. Also in the Atlanta area, Newburgh. Oh yeah, with uh, uh, Pastor Doctor Jamal. Bryant. Jamal Bryan, JB. JB. He was preaching. He had me in here just hollering, y'all, for no reason. My God. He, my God. He had he he had me going. He Did was, you say for no reason? Well, for well, 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 for reason. You know what I mean. But Lord, the children were wondering why Mama was in here hollering like that. Auntie but he was preaching. He, he preached the place down. He preached it down. He preached it down. Did? Did. Did. He did. 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 Mm -hmm. did. Yeah. Him, him did. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm old. I'm old. Uh, as soon as I can get Does it. it feel better? I took it to 74. It ain't reached my feet and fingers yet. It ain't got the, it ain't the 74 ain't got to my feet and fingers. So, um, I, I'm old. We gonna be all right. Cause, uh, uh, my nephew in there. Child, we went in there and checked on him. He had the covers all the way up to his neck right here. <laughs> it was all the way. I said, that baby needs some more covers. That baby needs some more covers. Mm-mm, that ain't going to work. See, y'all, it's at 74. Child. I don't know what. that. That's a different kind of 74. I just don't know how people can live with in the, the 68 degrees in the house. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all said y'all. I would like to know. Yeah, I want to know what y'all thought of that. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Let me tell you. And I'm sure there are going to be some people who are going to say that I'm not being very energy efficient. Okay. It is what it is. Let, let that be what it is. Right. Let, but let me tell you this right here, though. Because. Uh, but I pay the bills, so I'm going to be comfortable. That part. Thank you, Kyle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ra. So what had happened was, like, y'all know I be having pus in the summers and everything. And my temper to it, I still don't be on 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something else. She comes to the house in a t-shirt and then she switches to a sweatshirt. I, cause I have to come with a snowsuit. <laughs> we was getting ready to leave and Chris had on like a little tank top type thing with his arms and everything out. I said, child, you know where we going? Did you forget that you don't ever go over Auntie Rachel's house without something to put on your arms? You don't ever do that. Mm -hmm. I get a boy a blanket or something. Long johns. Who want to walk around with a blanket? You can't even do nothing. Just in here with your arms. You just, right, fold up the whole time. How was your visit? I don't know. We never unfolded. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Shabba! Yeah. It don't be that cold in here, y'all. I think it's because it's a small space. Mm -hmm. Let me it tell you something. It feels colder than maybe what something. it really is. The cheering, my cheering are not cold natured. And when they come over here, they say, Mom. Camera just said, Mom, last time I stayed over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had blankets She said stuff. the last time I spent an hour was freezing. I was up on the top right where the air was. Goodbye. Oh, why you didn't tell me something? You, because every time I wake you up, you, you, you be sh shook it. Shook it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you could have woke me up or you could have went and changed it and, and made it warmer. Or asked me for another blanket. No. 
Then she'd been sweating. Who touched the air? <laughs> Like you come in here, yeah, ceiling fans be on and everything. <laughs> what was I that? Right, right, right. What was that? <laughs> Homegirl, wake up out of sleep. What was that? We, we was on the kitchen. Right, you can hear that, but like somebody, I say, but she couldn't hear me calling for help when I was getting beat up by the police. I ain't gonna never forget that. I ain't gonna never forget that. I dozed off. I, I got a headache to this day. Like, I, was I was out there getting beat the up. Three sixty, and I was watching. I saw she at the bridge, and then I went to sleep. And that's when I got beat up by the police and <laughs> she went to sleep. Mom, you could have called me. I, I, I would have answered. Girl, bye. I did call you. Well, you <laughs> yes, did. I did. I FaceTimed you to go in there and tell you to wake up your daddy because I just got beat up by the police. Mm -hmm. You didn't answer. Chris didn't answer. The only, my only mm -hmm. lifeline was mama. No, your my grandma. friend this. I'm sitting up here talking to the people. Oh, I'm sorry. The disrespect is real. Be still, girl. You finna get up. You, you just hitting up. the camera, shaking the people up. I don't care. I'm finna go. It's, we don't mean up for nine minutes and six seconds and counting. That's so nice to talk to y'all. Mm -hmm. Mom, I love you. Mm -hmm. Hope y'all have you a but you still got wonderful to go. time <laughs> and all is well. I need my glasses. I told this oh, youngin to bring my glasses before she came in here and fell in between. I did, Cameron. You don't listen, girl. You gotta put your listening ears on. <sighs> anyway. I'm sorry, Mom. Jesus. Anyways, I really gotta. I need help. We almost got uh, ran over coming over here. I've been shopping at Target. Y'all, somebody said last two or three. She days, got to stop. I've been in the pickup She got to stop. She I got, got to stop. stop. I I need to be out there to pick up because I'm no longer going inside of the stores. I was on the phone with Rachel earlier, and Rachel was like, "The baby been crying. The child, forget the baby. The child been hollering since you've been in there." I say, as soon as I stepped in there, ooh, Rachel like said, "I." You. She said, "I hear, I hear." I said, girl, I'm right here by look at look at Siggy. Baby. <laughs> look at me. Baby. <laughs> you wanna where you look at? Y'all all right? Child. So if you wanna wear you at? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to call him. Mm-hmm. Tell him we're gonna we gonna be on directly. He about no, 12, no. 30, one o'clock. So <laughs> He's so pretty. It's my niece poo poo poo. We know how she related to you. That's my poo. <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> anyway. I have to get up right here so I can see y'all. I'm uh I'm far sighted. I think you are. Yeah, and I got a stigmatism in both you. of them. Both of them. Both of them. I didn't know that. <laughs> what was that, my sister? <laughs> Chris, up there playing that game. <laughs> what was that? That's the bar stools lighting up. I know what all the signs. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, well, we had ten minutes and fifty-seven seconds. Sure is nice to talk to you. And counting. Oh, she just blocked all my way. Oh, yo. <laughs> Out the way. Tell them bye. It sure is nice bye. to see y'all. Back up. I'm finna go on here and end it. <laughs> I don't know how long this vlog is, but I'm finna end it. Y'all, yeah, I'm finna go on here and end it right here. Um, Y'all already know what I'm about to say. Like always, all good things come to an end. I hope y'all enjoy hanging out with us. Y'all make sure you subscribe with your bell turned on because there's always <laughs> more to come. And I think that's all I need to say now. Yeah. I think that's, I think it. that's it. All right, now. Y'all be blessed. Thanks for watching. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Stop, girl. <laughs>